Seasonal patterns are a big part of our climate in Britain, but how will climate change affect them in the future? Professor Stephen Belcher is head of the Met Office, Hadley Centre. Traditionally, uh, climate change science is focused on the next 50 to 100 years uh, and the warming to the global average temperature uh, over that period. Our focus now is much more on the next uh, 10 to 20 years and what might happen to the seasons within that. And the reason is that this is the timescale over which people have to plan, so government uh, and so on, and companies. And within that 10 and 20 to 20 years, what we're really interested in is how the seasons might change. So if you cast your mind back nearly 10 years now to the summer of 2003, it was very, very hot over the whole of Europe. And we're able to estimate that the uh, climate change doubled the odds of having that, that hot summer in 2003. It does seem a little odd to be talking about hot summers after the wet one we've just had. And work we just completed seems to indicate that between one in three and one in four summers will remain wet, like the one we just had, at least for the next 20 years. The Hadley Centre's work also has global implications. Through a programme called Earth System Modelling, scientists are predicting what could happen centuries away. Famous work done uh, a while ago now at the Hadley Centre suggested that the Amazon rainforest might die back under climate change. So the shift in rain patterns would move away from the Amazon, the forest would actually dry out. I think since then the consensus has shifted that that's a, an extreme possibility. It remains a possibility, but probably a low probability of that actually happening. So another example that we're seeing right now is the Arctic ice sheet. So this year has seen the smallest area of uh, Arctic sea ice since records be began about 30 years ago. So um, systems like this can react really quite rapidly to climate change. We think of it as a long, progressive thing, but the Arctic sea ice is, is reducing really quite rapidly over the last 10 years or so. One of the obvious effects of climate change is as, a, as the world warms, some of that warmth will be taken up by the ocean, and that will cause the water to expand and the sea level to rise. Places like Bangladesh, uh, where storm surges are a problem, adding to the sea level rise, flooding is going to be a real problem. Some of the island states in the Pacific will also see lots of damage, so there's a lot of concern there over the sea level rise. And knowing about it in advance, what does that allow us to do? Plan for the future, yeah. 